Hello and welcome to Melbourne. We're going to talk you through our data centre facilities and five compelling reasons for hosting your incredibly important data with us. So let's get started. Our lovely support staff are on site 24-7 monitoring our data centres. Complex issues can be escalated to more senior staff right up to MD level. Customers with managed servers have their equipment proactively monitored by our support team. This allows us to preempt hardware or software failures on our customer servers. Put simply, our data centre protects you from five key data predators. Water, heat, fire, theft and power outages. We've thought of everything, so you don't have to. Protecting your data from water is the simplest of the five. Our facilities are located in purpose-built data centre buildings, designed to protect us against the elements. We're far away from floodplains and there's no sources of water in the server rooms as our air conditioners are gas rather than water-based and it obviously goes without saying that we have strict rules that no food or drink is permitted in the data centre. Additionally, we have flood detection in the underfloor void. Heat can be extremely harmful to your data. Technology needs to be kept within certain temperatures in order for it to stay alive. Our service level agreement for cooling is to keep the data centre between 18 and 27 degrees centigrade for 99.97% of the time. How do we ensure that we achieve this? We have N plus one air conditioning, so we've always got at least one standby unit ready to take over, should one fail. Also, we were one of the first UK data centres to embrace cold aisle containment. Cold aisles are contained so the only way for the air to get out of the cold aisle is by being drawn through the server by its own cooling fans. This is not only the most stable way of keeping your data at the right temperature, but also the most environmentally friendly way of cooling a data centre. Cold air is delivered through an underfloor void of nearly a metre to keep it separate from warm air. With so much electrical equipment in one room, the risk of fire is taken extremely seriously. We have multiple layers of fire protection. First of all, we have what's called a VSDA, VESDA, which stands for Very Early Smoke Detection Alarm. You can see part of this above the air conditioners in the form of red tubes, which sample air from the room back to the VESDA system. This shines a laser through the sampled air continually and it will detect even the smallest trace of smoke before you can even see it or smell it. The idea being that this is an early warning system alerting us to a problem. Secondly, as a backup, we have conventional smoke detectors at ceiling level and below the floor. If a fire does break out, after 30 seconds, FM200 gas is released into the air from the fire suppression system. This high-tech gas works by removing the heat energy from a fire and lowering the oxygen content in the room. The whole system is designed to be completely safe to humans, whilst being able to deal with a fire without having to switch off the power to your servers. Risk of theft is something that all data centres must be aware of. Here, we've taken every precaution to ensure all your data is safe. The obvious starting point for security is the multiple security staff across the campus, here 24 hours a day. They allow entry to the building for authorised visitors and are constantly surveying the site by CCTV. Furthermore, internal CCTV is monitored by our on-site data centre technicians 24 hours a day. The inside and outside of the building is completely monitored by CCTV. All windows have bars or shutters and one-way glass so that no one on the outside can see any equipment in the data centre. There are perimeter alarms to detect anyone walking up to the buildings and security fences around exposed areas. 
our primary services to our customers is power. Behind me is our main energy centre. We can't just plug you in and hope for the best. So we've put in place a multi-layered power plan to ensure that we meet our 100% power SLA. Our facilities are powered by dedicated transformers fed from separate national grid feeds. If anything happens to one, we've got a backup. If there's a loss of power to the facility, we'll keep everything running by means of on-site generators with enough fuel to run them for at least five days. All servers are protected by our UPS system, which stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. This system not only cleans the incoming power, but it's also used to bridge the gap between power cut and the generator starting, which takes about a minute. We have opted to have a modular UPS system rather than a single plant, so there's no single point of failure for the entire facility. Each UPS has hot swap batteries and any critical component has an online spare that it can seamlessly and instantly switch over to. You have the option to have multiple feeds in your racks and these can come from different UPSs, therefore giving you a much greater resilience. Importantly, Every month we cut the power under controlled circumstances to prove that our multi-layered power plan works. All our data centres are connected together by our own 10 gig dark fibre ring. The ring always runs at a diverse route, so there is no way a single break can affect your connectivity. We pick up internet connectivity from multiple data centres and load balance this. Any critical component to providing you with connectivity has a hot standby available. So that's fiber, switches, routers, and firewalls. Within each data center, we always have two core network cabinets, each of which has fiber entering from different sides of the building for resilience. Our enterprise class UltraFire firewalls are available to all customers at no extra cost. These give a secure and resilient boundary between their servers and the outside world. The chances are that most of these preventative measures that we've implemented will never be used, and we hope it stays that way. With a combination of well thought out systems and caring people, Melbourne is committed to delivering on our SLAs. You've probably got lots of questions, so visit our website and see our historic uptime data, or come in for a cup of tea and a personal tour.